the most I gave us rulership all throughout the Dark Ages. Right. They called it the Dark Ages for a reason, the Middle Ages. We ruled Europe and Russia and Spain and Germany. That right. was our people. We ruled that thing for how many years? Almost a thousand years. But they're not going to tell us that. They're not going to tell us that history. You ask about what about the Ashkenazi Jews that Moses delivered out of Egypt? Get Revelations to real quick. Because what we're, what we're out here to do is show our people, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, that you are actually the Jews according to the Bible, right? The people that are over there in Jerusalem today, they are not the Jews. They actually have taken your heritage, your birthright, and placed themselves Wait, in that the, position. Go ahead. What about the Palestinians? What about the Palestinians? We're going to get into all of that. Okay, I want to get Joel chapter 3 as well. We're going to show you that the Palestinians, the Arabs, the so-called the, the Africans, the Jewish people, all those other, other nations, they actually are the ones that are confederate against the so-called black, Hispanics, and Native Americans right. to keep us from our birthright. But let me show you some Revelation 2, verse 9. Revelation chapter 2, verse 9. Because the sister has some great questions, because there's a lot of confusion going on on the earth today. Who are the Israelites? Who Who is the land of Israel for? That's why the Palestinians and the, um, and the Jewish people are, are constantly at odds against each other. Right, but the, the truth is, the land is not for either of them. It's actually the so-called Black, Hispanics, and Native Americans land right. that we were cast out because we broke God's laws, statutes, and commandments. That's why we came over here on slave ships. That's why we are scattered abroad. Right. Read that. I know thy works and tribulation. Read the chapter and verse. Revelation chapter 2, verse 9. This is the book of Revelation chapter 2, verse 9. Read. I know thy works uh -huh. and tribulation and poverty. So the Most High God says, I know your works and tribulation. Are the so-called Jews today over there in Palestine that, that run the record industry, that are getting paid um, reparations from the Holocaust? Are they are they are they they were placed in a land, given a land because of the because of what happened to them during the Holocaust, right? Are they in tribulation today? What people are in poverty and are in tribulation today? You know, uh, sir, the so-called black people, right? Hispanic people, Native American people. So read it again from the top. I know thy works uh -huh. and tribulation mm -hmm. and poverty. And poverty. The Most High God says he knows your poverty. I understand. We're going to get this answer. Read. Okay. But thou art rich. He says, but you are rich. Why? Read. And I know the blasphemy. The what? The blasphemy. The egregious lies of what? Of them which say they are Jews. Of them which say they are Jews but and what? Not. And are not. And are what? And are not. But what are they? The but are the synagogue. Of Satan. They are the synagogue of Satan. Right you understand? Get Revelations 3 and 9 now. Then do lie. Read. Oh, the Revelations chapter precept. 3, verse 9. Right. We're going to get into that. Read. Behold, I will make them of the synagogue of Satan. Go ahead. Which say they are Jews. He's going to make them of the synagogue of Satan, which say they are the Jews. How you doing today, sis? Not. Grab a fly. Read. And are not. And are not the Jews, though. Read. But do lie. But they do lie. They've been lying since they've been placed in that land. Since they've taken on the so-called Black, Hispanic, and Native Americans culture, heritage, and identity. Give me Jeremiah 17 and 4. But now as people, the Most High God has raised up his prophets today to do away with all the lies. We have the truth about who you are, so-called Black man. And it seems like you got some understanding. Oh yeah. Right? What's your name, bro? Phelan. Phelan. How you doing? Good. So, you, you, what's your nationality, Phelan? My nationality? Yeah. I'm from the Tribe of Judah. You're, oh, so you're yeah, Israelite from the Tribe of Judah? My whole family All praises to the Most High. So when the sister used a term called Black Hebrew Israelites, hey, we're not Black Hebrew Israelites because Israel comes in many different shades and colors. 
This right. book here is not about color and how your hair looks and all those different things. Because if you try to do that, then you'll be, be telling people that they're not Jews and they actually are. Read that. Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 4. Go ahead. And thou, even thyself, shalt discontinue from thine heritage. So the Most High God is telling the Israelites that they shall discontinue from their heritage. Read. That I gave thee. That God gave them. How you doing today, brother? Hey, get, get this brother a flyer here, man. Read. And I will cause thee to serve thine enemies. What? I will cause thee to serve thine enemies. Let me ask you a question. If the, if the people that are in the land of Jerusalem today are the true Jews that are, that are written up in the Bible, are they serving their enemies today? Read it up. Read that again from the top. And thou, even thyself, shalt discontinue from thine heritage. So the Most High God says that the, the real Jews are going to discontinue from their heritage. Read. That I gave thee. That God gave us. Read. And I will cause thee. To serve thy enemies. The Most High God is causing us to serve our enemies. Read. In the land which thou knowest not. We didn't know nothing about this land. That land that we know of not, that we're serving our enemies in, is right here in America. Yeah. Let me tell you something. The so-called black man needs to wake up. The Hispanic man needs to wake up. Right. Friends do not sell friends into slavery. Right. Right. Friends do not have, have, have friends in single, I mean, in um, poverty situations. Right. Friends don't give friends to work at worse education. Right. Friends don't don't build prisons and create a system of revolving around crime in our communities and they invest in the prison system in order to oppress us. Right. Real quick, what's your name? Khalil. Khalil. Is there such a thing as what's your nationality, Khalil? African American. African American. Give that brother give Khalil a flight. Give Khalil a flight. Now, Khalil, let me ask you a question. Why do you call yourself an African American? Born and raised in America. Born and raised in America. Do you know that term was just created for you in the, the mid to early 80s by Jesse Jackson? Let me read something to you. Give me Deuteronomy um, by word, probably by word. You know, let me show you something real quick, Khalil. You got a couple minutes. I understand you with your friend, but you need to take a couple minutes out to learn your true nationality. You're right. not an African American. Right. There's no way in the world you can come from the seed of two, guess what, Khalil? So called white men. Right. Africa was was conquered by Leo Scipio Africanus, and he called the, that land after his name. America was 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 um, discovered and was um, conquered by Amerigo Vespucci. And guess what they called that land? America. So how can you be from Africa and America when those are named after two so-called white right. men, Khalil? Read this real quick. Read that. Deuteronomy chapter twenty-eight, verse thirty-seven. Go ahead. And thou shall become an astonishment. The Most High God said the Israelites shall become an astonishment. Read. A proverb. A proverb, a wise saying about a certain people. You want to hide something from a black man, what do you do? Put it in a book. Everybody knows that one, right? Guess what that is, Khalil? That is a proverb. It's a proverb that degrades, and it's actually a little bit true because our brothers and sisters don't read. That's your friend right there? Am I lying? You don't know? Tell, tell the truth. Tell the truth for a second. If you want to hide anything from a black man, where do you put it? In a book. That's why they, and when we start to read, what, what happened during slavery when we tried to read? Were we allowed to read? No, we weren't allowed to read. Because there's power in reading. Read that again from the top, though. And thou shalt become an astonishment. So the Most High God said the real Israelites, the true Jews, shall become an astonishment. Read. A proverb. A proverb. That's a wise saying, and we already gave you an example of that, right? What do all black people eat? You know it. Chicken and watermelon, right? That's a proverb. It's a wise saying. And a byword. You know that? Guess what that byword is, Khalil? What is that byword that the Most High God said you're going to be called? A byword. A byword means you're going to be called something, anything outside of your nationality. So what is that byword? Right, and, and by means two as well. So what is that by word? Two. What do you call today? What's your nationality? Can they say? Hey, sisters, can I ask y'all a question? What is your nationality? Real quick, we're not, we're not bothering anybody. We're just asking, we're trying to edify our people, show them who they are according to the Bible. So let me ask you, what's your nationality? Like, what? what's your race? African-American, what do you say? You say black, right? What do you say, sis? Same name. 
Same thing, African American and black, right? Read that from the top again. And we're gonna show you something. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 37. Go ahead. No. And thou shalt become an astonishment. The most high God said so you're gonna become an astonishment. Read. A proverb. A proverb. And a byword. That byword is African American. It means you're going to be discontinued from your heritage. Right. You understand? That byword is black. Hey, brother, brother with the, with the hat on, let me ask you a question. How many nationalities has the so-called black man had in the last 20 years? Uh, the last 50 years? Uh, we've had plenty of them, right? Yeah. We've been called Negroes. We've been called black. We've been called Afro-American. We've been called African-American. Well, right. what's the truth then? What is our nationality? Read that again from the top. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 37. Go ahead. And thou shalt become an astonishment, a proverb. And a byword. So the Most High God said that the so-called black man is going to become an astonishment, a proverb, and a byword. If you believe that you're an African American, you are believing in that byword that the so-called white man used. Among all nations, whether the Lord shall lead you. Among all nations, whether the Lord shall lead you. So guess what? It doesn't matter what country you go into, so-called black man. Hispanic man, Native American man, you will always be that proverb. Right. There's plenty of different ways to call you the N-word in another language. And that's what you are in this country and abroad. And it's high time for our people to wake up out of sleep. Read up. And to come back to your nationality. Hey, brother, right there, let me ask you a question. What's your nationality, bro? My nationality? Yes, sir. My nationality is American, but my ethnicity is West African. My culture is African American. My race is black. Okay. But I do not claim here. All right, good. So you said you're here in America, right? But your origins is West Africa, right? Who were those people from West Africa that was brought over here in slave ships? But that's where, predominantly where our people came from, Nigeria, right. all those different places, right? Right. But who were those people? What was their nationality? Their national, well, during the time, our, region, our ancestors, they didn't have a national ID like that. In Africa and all the different parts of Africa, we just saw ourselves as black people. We didn't have to tie into specifically, oh, we're this or we're that. We were all black people who loved each other. So that's just the way I choose to look at it. So all black people loved each other? Not all black people loved each other, no. But in the beginning, we did. In the very beginning, of course we did. So let me show you something real quick. If I were to show you here that the, the same people that were in West Africa that were brought over here on slave ships, if we were to show you that their nationality is actually in the Bible, would you accept that? If we show you the prophetic, what was the Bible? When Christopher Columbus came here, he had a Bible, right? So those words were written way before the slave trade, right? right? Okay, so if I show you that your slavery, our slavery as a people, from the origins of West Africa and how we got to West Africa, we can show you that. All of that is in the Bible. Would you at least give the flyer a shot and, and research it more? course because any, any you can gain wisdom and knowledge from anywhere so all praises so now let me show you a little bit you got like five minutes hey sis come on over here man check it out is this for you too and, and you know what our sisters need this just as much as the men right we need our sister to be just as knowledgeable and understand their heritage why because she has to come back to her heritage as well in order for us to get out of the estate that we are as a people give me deuteronomy the 28th chapter we're gonna start at verse 15 because in do read verse one chapter 1 verse 1 Bring it out. because when we read the Bible a lot of times we see the Bible and people think it's a white man's book used to oppress our people you heard that before what about you sis you heard that before it says the Bible is a white man's book used to oppress our people slaves obey your master when right yet yeah, why would they kill the slaves if they try to read it then why didn't they want the slaves to read that book that teaches them to oppress themselves they, right, they didn't want them to find the truth that's in the Bible that it actually is not a white man's book. That's why you put, it doesn't make sense for them to kill you if they read a book telling them, hey, obey me, right? Exactly, our, you're using some great terms now, our words. The Bible is our book, give one and one. Deuteronomy chapter one, verse one. Go ahead. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. This book was written by Moses to all Israel, the children of Israel. Read, now go to 28. Just to establish who this book was written to. And we're gonna show you that the children of Israel actually were those black people on the west coast of Africa, which were actually sold and was at war with the Nilotic Africans out there. 
You understand? It wasn't just white men that came over there in Africa and, and put us into slavery. No, that, that's why they say you sold your own people, right? What people does that? We wasn't sold by our own people. There's plenty of different nations of people that have our skin color. But the question is what bloodline and what skin color, what, what people do you come from that has this skin color? And why do those other people they hate you? And why does other people allow the so-called white man and traded you? You understand? Read that verse 15. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. Go ahead. But it shall come to pass. Go ahead. If thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Go ahead. To observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes which I command thee this day. Go ahead. Then all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. What you're going to find out, the children of Israel actually entered into a covenant with the Most High God saying, if we keep your laws, the Most High, we're going to keep your laws. And the Most High God said, if you keep my laws, I'm going to set you on high. You're going to be kings and rulers. And we had that for, what, 80 years with King Solomon and King David. We had rulership. Actually, the Most High gave us rulership all throughout the Dark Ages. Right. They call it the Dark Ages for a reason, the Middle Ages. We ruled Europe and Russia and Spain and Germany. That right. was our people. We ruled that thing for how many years? Almost a thousand years. But they're not going to tell us that. They're not going to tell us that history. Right? So the Most High put us on high. Read, read verse 15 again. Verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou will not hearken show you unto the thing. voice of the Lord thy God. Give me verse 68. So verse 68. The laws. Now, how do we get over here in this country? How did the people in West Africa get over here? We were brought here in shackles and chains, right? Because that slavery right here, this right here, is what our people don't want to identify themselves with. This is what our people want to forget. This is what our people's enemies and the people that did this to them want to forget. Right, sis? We don't really want to hear about slavery, right? We don't want to hear about our mothers and daughters being raped by their oppressors. We don't want to hear about our wives being taken from us and, and being lined with, with any, any slave master that wanted. We don't want to hear that. Verse 68, read. Verse 68. One second. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. The Most High God is going to bring these same Israelites into slavery again on slave ships. Who did that happen to? It only happened to us, read. By the way, wherever I spake unto thee, uh -huh. thou shalt see it no more again. He says you'll never see your homeland again, willingly. You're not willingly able, willfully able to go back to your homeland. You need a passport, you need funds, and you need permission. God forbid you're a felon. Exactly, read. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies. He says there the so-called black man, Hispanic man, and Native American man will be sold unto their enemies. Read. For bond men Go ahead. and bond women. For slave men and slave women. Read. And no man shall buy you. And no man is going to redeem us out of this slavery. So that's how we got here. And that proves that the so-called black man, you're actually an Israelite according to the Bible. Right, right. That is your nationality. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.